I'm Dave. And I'm Yasha. And today I will be doing a mukbang, mukbang, however you want to say it. And today we have chicken and broccoli alfredo. Look at it, they show it to me. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Oh, you gotta get a little bit closer. You gotta get it closer. I'm loud with a drop. A little bit. There we go. Mm. Girl, look at you. And today, with our boot bang, y'all, we're gonna uh, talk about how we met. You're gonna get her side of the story, and then you're gonna get my side of the story. Let's see. Yes, but before we start talking, I'm gonna dip some of this out because I'm hungry. Ooh. Girl. Okay, so mm. <laughs> we met in high school. He was a senior and I was a sophomore. I had just moved back to the school that we were currently going to. And I didn't really know anybody at that time. So I really what didn't have my eye out for anybody. Well I take that back. I knew the school but I just was I was on not going to this school. And we met in Human A&P? Biology 2. You ought to get that wrong. Well, I took Human A&P and Biology 2 that same year with the same teacher, so it don't even matter. But, but at the time, I really didn't like anybody, but I kind of thought he was interesting as the school year went on. And he was the only one that wasn't just like trying to get at me in a sexual manner and and I kind of like that about him. So, that kind of what sparked my interest. But, when I wanted to talk to him, he did not want to talk to me. He had his eyes out for a white girl. No offense to any white girls, but that's what he had going on. <laughs> anyway, so as the school year progressed, I kind of lost interest in him because he was just he was just chasing the flock or whatever, how you want to say that. And, wait. Like, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's lying. Mm -hmm. She got mellow looking at her. She really was. And so as the school year was coming to an end, which would be like the spring semester, he called himself wanting to like me. But I really wasn't interested in him. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I really wasn't interested in him at the time because I kind of was like doing my own thing. Me and my friends were always like going out, meeting new people, just doing, doing us basically. Just doing us basically. And he wanted to, he moved really quickly, if that makes sense. Um, he wanted to be in a relationship with me, but I didn't want him at the time. And then people were saying different things about me. And if you're going to listen to other people, I don't feel like I should talk to you. Pretty much is how I feel about that. But anyway, yes. Um, I think, and how we really got to talk to him, I think it's over a game of Uno. Because I would kick people but in Uno. Go to school with like $2.00. Leave the school like twenty dollars, fifteen dollars, just whatever. I could go to school broke and leave school with some money, which I know we probably shouldn't have been doing that, but it was pretty fun. Okay. You can tell your version. That's it. We really ain't get to that mushy, gushy, wishy. Well, it really wasn't mushy, gushy, wishy. I mean, you want me to tell, tell them we met at the gazebo and uh, I wrote down my middle name for you and. Ah, oh, that's too exclusive. <laughs> too exclusive, y'all see. <laughs> I'm a lover boy, as you can see. 
But now, y'all, pretty much to, to cover what she said, we um, met in high school, right? I was a senior. She was a sophomore, you know? So she was on game right now. And as you can see, she's on game. But now, y'all, I really, um, at the beginning, I really ain't really pay attention to her like that. I just knew a lot of people kind of wanted to talk to her, you know? I was just trying to keep my distance away from all that. And at the time... So I wasn't good enough to talk to you because other people wanted to talk to you? No, nah, it's just... If everybody trying to get one fish, I don't want the fish. <laughs> 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 I just keep my distance to be a fisherman. So you don't get other fish, so that's why you was... No, nah, don't do that. No, nah, <laughs> don't listen to what she's saying. Anyways, at that point in time, I was just trying to um, figure stuff out, you know, going along with a lot of stuff. But along with that, you know, eventually we got to the point where I noticed her, but at this time, you know, she had her own thing going, which I respect when I look back at it. No, you don't. We have this conversation all the time. <laughs> All the time. I don't know. What is this that? I don't have this conversation all the time. Anyway, bye. Um, but um, we had to figure a couple of things out. Uh, eventually, the roller coaster ride kind of eased up. This still was a roller coaster ride. But it was just like a lot of um. A lot of craziness going on from the outside and sometimes the inside too. But most of it was her fault though. No, it wasn't my fault. So when I feel like when you have your opportunity to talk to someone, you should talk to that person because you never know if the opportunity is gonna come back around. So at the end of the school year, I didn't want to talk to him. I had other stuff going on. And when I look back over, I kind of was like, oh, well, I should have told him. But no, I did tell him. He knew what it was. But see, now we kind of go back and forth on that. And he's like, and he'd be like, well, if I knew, if I would have known you had this going on, then I would have <coughs> stayed my distance. Sorry, y'all. I would have <laughs> stayed my distance, it's, but. It's so strong, though. It's so nasty. Beyond nasty. But anyway, y'all, I'm sorry, rudely interrupted. It was just a lot of stuff that at the end of the day, we look back at it. It was worth it. Yeah, because I said, we're here. It was worth it because we still here and we're here to stay, pretty much. We've been here three years. November 7th, I'm like four. Yeah, we got forever to go, honestly. Well, we are saying it's five ever because forever, like everybody say forever. You know what I'm saying? Forever really don't mean forever. But for us, it's five ever, so it, it kind of means something. That's kind of something I came up with, but she kind of agreed with it, you know? Kind of sort of, but... I mean, I like him to do his thing. Be creative and come up with slogans, I guess that's what you would call them. Yeah, she, she do her thing like always. But it's just, um, like I said, we, we got forever to continue just carry on with what we got going. Well, five ever, sorry, y'all. To carry on what we got going. And hopefully, if you know, God said the same, we'll be straight, to be honest. And we just continue to stay on one accord. I know we really didn't pinpoint exactly how we met, but it's just like a general idea of how this right here came about, you know. It was just really complicated within itself, but we you know, try to explain it the best way we could. You know how school is full of drama. Who said this? Who say that? You can get more than just the chicken. You can get you some pasta. Fix you a whole plate. Yeah, right. Anyway. So, everybody had their opinions. What are they called? Rumors. Mm -hmm. When people start rumors and different things like that. I had so many boyfriends at the time that I didn't even, I didn't even know who I was talking to. So... How can I talk to somebody that I don't know who I'm talking to? And I feel like that's crazy. And like, so did my friends too. We were just like, oh, I take that back. We left out a very, very 
important part. His ex best friend. My best friend at the time. <laughs> his ex best friend at the time. His best friend, ex best friend, whatever you want to call it. He best was, friend at the time. He um he was the one that kind of got this got this going. Cause his best friend at the time wanted to talk to my best friend at the time, and she was she wasn't feeling it at all. And that's just the truth we told. But somehow we managed to be together, and I'm glad. It's been a long time coming, but we done came. So it was like they want to do a double date type of thing, and the only way his best friend was going to get my best friend there is like if I was going so and I wasn't third willing so the other guy that his best friend wanted me to talk to it was a no 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 but stuff happens mm -hmm. stuff happens gotta do what you gotta do sometimes let these people know right 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 you feel like this for that one but now, y'all, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to be so good. The first, second, and the third time. <laughs> it was one time for me to open. I'd be eating. We get out of hand sometimes. But, you know. And, like, my lips kind of dry. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So we're just ending right here at 1340. Love you next time. We well, all end this video. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Yes. We are new and we're growing. So follow us on this journey. Young done. Is it broke or reckless? Not broke. I'm about to be rich. <laughs> we're just, we're just I'm talking about the song. No, we just think it like that. Okay. You about to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs>